Right, hello, welcome to another video from me. And today's video is slightly different, as you already know. We're going to take a look at some new machines that will feature on the channel at some point in time or another. Um, so yeah, we're starting off in the old shed, um, which is now really a store for stuff. Um, but yeah, we've got this Electrolux WE61MP, which is the first new machine. Now this is brand new, it's not been used, opened up and it's still bolted to its pallet. Um, I picked this up in between Christmas and New Year, I had to drive to uh, Birmingham for it. Um, so yeah, between then and now I've not had a chance to plug it in or do anything with it. Um, it's just sat here in the shed because it weighs a ton, I've got room for it in the garage at the time. So at some point, I'll be getting that over. It's a gravity drain one as well, so I'm gonna to have to reconfigure my plumbing because everything else at my house is on pump drain into a standpipe. So that'll be fun and games. The machine next to it, which is a washing machine, isn't actually mine, so it belongs to a friend. I've got to do it up for them. The candy's still there. There's a Bosch tumble dryer that's work stock. It's the old Creeder, the old Keymatic. Innocent Series 2000, a Neff oven I picked up, a tumble dryer for a friend, Innocent dishwasher, the Bosch, the Bianca, the A3172 and the old W455H is in the back. So yeah, that's the first new machine anyway, so we'll pop over to my house in just a minute and we'll have a look at the other new machines over there. So the next new machine is this JLA Schultes, which I picked up from Swanage. It's a JLA 7 uh, Schultes medical sluice washer. It's a gravity drain one. I was told there was something wrong with the pump, you know, although it was actually a drain valve one. Um, but the drain valve seems to be closing and opening okay. So let's just run it up and see what it does. Um, it's a 2010 machine, brushless motor. Um, yeah, I paid 50 quid for it, went down to Swanage, picked that up, and spent it down the beach with the dog and my partner. So, so I've got it on rinse and spin. I've got rinse and spin program, 30 degree delicate wash. Uh, 40 degree warm wash, 60 hot wash, 75 sluice wash, and an eco option. Not quite sure what that does. You can advance it and you can open the door. My one's a lot more flexible. Um, we've got the third delicate wash, 40, 60, and a 95, and then the medical disinfect cycle. Advanced key is that one. I only need all these variables are mine, like temperature, it's a bit more advanced. With a few more features on it. Let's advance this on then. Water's only going out there to a little drain. It's draining quite slowly compared to other gravity drain machines though, so it could be something in it. Not quite the flood now. Sadly, this is all a bit scratched up uh, compared to mine, which is considerably older, but um, there we go. So mine's got different drum, but your drum in this one's bigger. Um, and the paddles are different in mine. They don't go to the back of the drum. Oh, 
I think we can go for a spin. You get the picture. So there we go, and that's a 2010, so there we go, right, let's have a look at the next new machines. Right, so the next new machine that's going to feature on the channel, which isn't actually mine, is this uh, Zanussi Lindo 100E. This belongs to a customer and it was easy for me to work on it at home rather than at his house because he's in the middle of moving house. Um, so it was agreed to drop it off and pick it up when I was done. It was reported as leaking, but it's not leached to me as of yet. Um, and the chap had a new door seal which he wanted me to put on while I had the machine. So I put the door seal on, it's just a case of running up and see if I can make it leak. Um, but it's not leaked to me so far and it all checks out. So a bit of a weird one. Um, quite a nice machine. I like the fact this has got the 50 degree option, but I've found that the wash times are pretty horrendous. It has got the flex time option to cut the time down on the cycles if you want them a bit quicker. Uh, we've got various cycles of cotton, synthetics, delicates, wool, dark, mix, rinse, drain, spin, got easy iron, whatever that does, 20 minute, 30 minute refresh at 40 degrees, right, jeans, three hours, and 30 at 30. So you can vary the spin and temperature there. Options include pre-wash, extra rinse, liquid detergent, pardon me, which I don't actually know what that does, and a delay start. A few garage rugs in there. Um, that's, that's the drum and the seal. And it's a nice whiny brushed motor. So there we go. Let's take a look at the final washing machine and tumble dryer to feature in this video. So lastly then we have this and this. So these came from another collector who's looking to do what I should be doing and reducing his numbers. Um, the washing machine's going to need a bit of TLC. I've got a new door bowl to go on it. I said there's new seals in that dryer. You can see this has seen better days. It is an original service. Door seal though. I said I've got a new door bowl for this. This is all like faded and crazed and seen better days. Drum, like the service slim one I had, is an enameled drum. I've got three blue paddles and a brushed motor, which sounds like a Hoover motor. So this is from 1972, I believe, so that makes it 50 years old. So we've got the washer, the dryer, and this is the stacking frame that the tumble dryer would sit into. I think you might have to take the wheels off, um, but yeah. Anyway, that is my latest set of new machines that will feature on the channel. Um, yeah, I can't say when they'll feature, but um, they'll be up and coming, so you can look forward to seeing those as and when. Thanks for watching, I've enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Until then, goodbye.